my name is Elsa Marie, and we are going to do a 15-minute Baptiste-inspired practice. So get on your mats, and we'll get started. We will start in Downward Facing Dog. Bring your pinky fingers to the edge of your mat. Settle your feet back. We will start by just pedaling one leg out, then the other. Walking your dog, essentially. One knee and the other. You may get little pops and cracks in your ankles as you go up on your toes and reach the opposite heel down. After a few of these, Settle both feet down into the earth. Your heels don't have to touch, but give your knees a nice relaxed bend. Gaze forward, step or hop, ragdoll. Grab your elbows, let your head hang down. Sway it out side to side. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold, breathe out. Reach all the way up to mountain pose. Feet together, hands at heart center. We'll start by taking a deep, full breath in. Exhale it out. Reach up to mountain. Look up at your ceiling. Maybe take a little heart opener by reaching up and back. Exhale, forward fold, drop your head down, half lift, high plank, low push up, elbows go back, upward facing dog, chest open, downward facing dog. Right foot forward, runner's lunge. Fingers on either side of your right foot, left heels lifted. From here, you can keep your left leg straight or bend it to the ground. Reach up to modified crescent lunge. Hands to heart center, and we'll take three breaths here. So settle your gaze in front of you. Pull your belly button in and up, and begin to breathe with long inhales and full exhales. This is creating an internal heat in your body, otherwise known as tapas. Reach your arms up, high plank, low push-up, up dog, downward facing dog, breath out, left side, runner's lunge. Bend your knee, bring it to the ground, reach up, Modify crescent. Again, you can lift this leg up. If you would like a little bit deeper of a challenge, if not, sit the knee down. Everyone hug your belly button in towards your spine. Hands to heart center. Three breaths together. Deep breath in. Full exhale out. Settle into your pose as you breathe. Inhale. Exhale it out. One last one. Breathe in and exhale it out. Reach up, high plank, low push up, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Breathe out, bend your knees, look forward, step or hop, half lift, fold, chair pose, ukatasana chair. Sink as low as you can in your legs. Sit bones reach back, arms stretch up towards the ceiling. We're going to sink a little bit lower. Again, sink a little bit further. Maybe you sink so far that you come into Navasana. Sit bones to the ground, toes flex back towards your face. Nice. Now can you bring it back to chair? If you can't, just give yourself a little rock and roll like I just did. You can use your hands as an assist, bring it back to chair. I'm going to try that one more time, slowly sinking down. 
Navasana. It can be sloppy, it can be playful. Bring it back up to chair. Use your hands if you need. We're doing this one more time. Feet grounded slowly. Lower to the ground. Navasana. Chest lifts, gave up. And bring it back to chair. Reach up, forward fold. Shake your head out, yes and no. Grab hold of your big toes with your peace fingers. Pull down. So we are using our arm strength to pull closer to our thighs. Your knees can be, the backs of your legs can be as bent as you need. And sway it out here. Take a halfway lift. Forward fold. Rise all the way up to mountain. Take a full body stretch. And we are going to take standing leg raise, right side. Right leg lifts. Couple options here. You can bring your hand underneath your thigh, at your shin bone, or at the bottom of your foot. Open your leg out to the right. Stretch your arm to the left. Like you're reaching for someone or something to the left side of the room. Now instead of actually stretching your body to the left, think of reaching your head two inches taller towards the ceiling. So you grow in your standing leg. Beautiful, bring it back to center and set it down. Left side, left leg up, core engaged. Open out to the left, stretch your fingers to the right. And don't be afraid here to look at your hands. Like if you fall out, that is okay, but take the chance and gaze at your right fingers. Bring it back to center and lower it down. Shake it out, shake it out. Tree pose, right side, tree. Your right foot can come anywhere along your left leg. Stand up as tall as you are. Hands begin at heart center. We will take five full breaths. Like no holding back, just breathing into your pose. And if you'd like to start opening your arms as you breathe, maybe to the side or up towards the ceiling, fingers interlaced, whatever that arm variation is, you choose, but take it now. And one more, deep breath in together. Exhale it out, shake out your legs. Other side, right leg down, left leg lifts. Now, as you breathe here, find the connection between your palms pressing into one another, feet pressing against the floor. So there is, imagine an equal and opposite reaction going on. A push down as you pull up. A press in to press out. Your entire body here is just living and breathing in tree. Take two more breaths to fully expand your pose, whatever that means for your practice. Maybe it's just opening your eyes even wider or trying to close them. That can be a challenge as itself. Mountain pose, bring it back to arms, lift up, forward folds, breathe out, drop your head, shake it out, yes and no. Half lift, high plank. Low push-up, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, breathe out, high plank, slowly lower all the way down to your mat, and from right there, press your hands against the floor, point your toes, locus. Now create a nice long neck for yourself, so you're not crunching in the back, but lengthen through the back of your neck. 
See if you can reach your legs up an inch higher. Do so. Don't wait. Lower down. Breathe out. Windshield wiper your legs side to side. Upward dog or cobra. Hands by your lower rib cage. Press up. Child's pose. Take it back. Take one inhale and a full exhale. Come on to your seat. Extend your legs in front of you. Right leg comes in almost like a seated tree. So right leg will come to the inside of your left thigh. Reach your arms up, get right on your sit bones and take a forward fold. Maybe you reach for your foot. If you have a towel or a strap, you could wrap that around your foot and pull down and breathe. Allow your head to rest down and take in the fold. Slowly come back up and switch sides. Right foot extends forward, get on the sit bones Reach your arms up and exhale, forward fold. Take your hold and lower down. Slowly bring back up, fish pose. Hands underneath your sit bones, almost coming close to one another. Press your forearms against the floor, open your chest, and let your head relax back. Take three breaths here. After your third breath, slowly come back up. Remove your hands out from underneath your sit bones and roll all the way to the ground. Give yourself a big hug. Squeeze in. Rock it side to side. Supta Baddha Konasana. Feet together. Knees relaxed. This is a final rest hip opener. A great pose to do at the end of any day. As you're in this pose, imagine your entire spine relax into the floor. Allow your breath to settle back to a normal, easy breath. So not forced, but restful. You can stay here or at your own time. Extend one leg out, extend the other. First, Savasana. Stay in Savasana for a few breaths. Just close your eyes. Relax down onto the mat. Allow your body to become heavy against the earth. And even your face to relax. Your eyelids, your cheekbones, your mouth. Slowly begin to move your fingers and your toes. Take a full body stretch. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a great hug here. Proud of what you have done in just this short amount of time. Rock forward and back all the way to seated. We'll meet here in seated. Bring your hands to heart center. Deep breath in. Full exhale out. Thumb knuckles to your forehead. Namaste. Namaste, y'all. Thank you so much for this practice and for practicing with me on your mat. Um, Please like the video and share any thoughts or comments for your next week's practice.